Tai Nation, Tai Nation, how you guys doing? I got a special guest today, special guest. I'm um, Mr. Tyne. Just want to let you guys know that we have the former, the former Tennessee Titan linebacker, Gerald oh, McRath. Again, hype now. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say Nissan, come alive for him. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Ooh, let me hear you say All my people on Broadway. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten one time, up. One. Oh, tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Yeah. Nashville, turn the lights on me. Me. Third down, what the play gonna be? What it is. We gonna throw it to the left. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing good. How you doing? I'm chilling. I'm chilling, man. It's uh it's an honor to have you. The official first Tennessee Titan player ever, um, Mr. Titan. So that that's awesome, man. I'm 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 proud to have you on it. I'm honored, man. I'm honored. I'm honored. Look, I got some big shoes to fill now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got you got this, man. You now people have to have to step up their game now. We, we got the, the official, man. OG right here. We have – that's awesome, man. How you doing today? Man, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. I came, came back home to Atlanta to, uh, to help my parents with some moving and stuff. And um, okay. still, still doing the social distancing um, and stuff like that, trying to stay sane and, you know. Definitely. But, uh, but just taking it one day at a time, man. One thing about it is, man, we're all in this thing together, man. We're all we're all facing the same type of adversity right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are. And look, you you're in shape, man. You you can still go. What do you mean? We, we, no. You, <laughs> no. You you can still go, man. I'm just saying. All right. Yeah, so, mentally, yeah mentally. <laughs> there we go. So so I. You know, we're just gonna, you know, go and steamroll this thing and just keep talking and stuff. Uh, I again, like, uh, like I like to say, I do appreciate you taking your time um, to actually join me and stuff. I was very surprised, but I'm very blessed at the same time to have you on the show. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart, man. I, I do appreciate it. No problem, man. No problem. So we have a we have a little. Uh, I got a little background info, man. I got everything for you, right? So okay. we got the former linebacker drafted in the fourth round, 2009, correct? Yep. Yes, sir. Correct. Played correct. college Southern Miss, Golden Eagles. Golden Eagles all oh, the way. Okay, now, now we have a – man, I, I wish I had a resume like this. Conference USA yeah. All-Freshman 2006, right? Third team All-Conference US 2006, Sporting News Freshman. All American, two time, first time all conference. I mean, you got a a who's who's on your resume, man. That's that's impressive. All right. So you got picked up by the Tennessee Titans 2009. Now, going in college when you were playing in Southern Miss, was there any team that you wanted to play for? Or is kind of like, hey, any team that picks me, I'm cool with it. I, to be honest with you, it was any team that picked me, I'll be cool with it. Okay. Um, now, a little bit biased to want to go somewhere with warmer weather. <laughs> of course, of course. Warmer weather, um, just for being a Southern kid. Um, but, you know, when, you, when, when I made it to that point in my career, man, just to have another opportunity to play one more down, you know, that, I mean, that to me was, that, that was the biggest key. So I, it, it didn't, you know, I would feel thankful to, you know, whoever drafted me, luckily, you know, here in Tennessee where the weather is good. <laughs> yeah. You know, the weather is good. It's perfect. Yeah. So that, that worked out for me. Did you have a, did you have a team going into college that you always looked for, like you liked, or it was just kind of like, you just like different players and stuff like that. I love the game. And okay. it, let me. And this is this is funny because growing up, I wouldn't watch football. Like I couldn't stand watching football games because I'd be wanting to play. I'd be okay. like, man, well, I got a game Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't until I got to college that I really started to to start watching players. And and as they play, like Derrick Brooks was one of those guys coming out mm -hmm. that I really um, I really admired because he okay. played linebacker, but he was the more smaller body type, you know, yes, sir. Uh, yep. in that generation, especially with him playing that Tampa too. Um, and so I really 
he gave me hope. You know, he was that guy that I'm looking at like, man, that's he's like, not that that's big. Guy. He, yep. it, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, oh, cool. but without a doubt, I, I started watching uh, players once I got to college, I would say. Okay. All right. See, I'm like the opposite. I started watching players when I started doing uh, NFL, uh, uh, the – What's it called? The fantasy league. Fantasy so, league. Yeah, yep, yep, that's yep. that's completely yep. different. I mean, that's one yep. aspect of a, like a a non athlete like myself compared to an athlete. You know, it's it's funny. But, hey, yeah. hey, but it's funny that you say that because I just started doing that for the past two years now. Mm-hmm. I do one with the NFL. They have a, a a fantasy league, and I do one that is in my community. All mm-hmm. the guys and the loser fun, has huh? to. Uh, Oh my God! Is you got to stay on your P's and Q's? And yeah. Those guys, look, look. <laughs> story. The first, the first year, I, I drafted a kicker in the second round, and then nobody <laughs> say anything to me. Oh, anything man. to me. But they gave, hey, they let me have it when the draft was over, man. Yeah. They let me. <laughs> that's one thing you, you have to be you have to know all your players and that's one thing yeah. and you kind of and it, it changes the game as well too you kind of look at the individual player and you you kind of go and you follow him for a while and stuff so it, it it's pretty cool so like we were talking about since you were the you know draft in the fourth round what was the process like going through as a fourth rounder because we all know I know, like the first round or second round, it's always on TV and this and that. But what's the whole process? That, that's something I would always wanted to know. I never, I ne- again, I never got to talk to a football player and, you know, just to know the insides and stuff. That's just something that always intrigued me and stuff like that. So, well, what was the? Uh-huh. Oh man, it, it is. It's heart dropping. It's heart dropping. It huh? Every single pick. Every single pick, and you are going through, and it's almost to the point where you're psyching yourself up to say, I could really go here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, they might have drafted four or five linebackers before, but you might, you might in your head say, Oh man, this is still a good pick for them. Like, I'm still on the so it is, uh, it, it's tough, you know, it's tough. Mm-hmm. And I, I really, you know, this year. I think this year with no sports going on, this was the first year that I actually kind of watched the draft. Like, okay, like the whole thing, right? <laughs> yeah, like I went. Now I I went last year when it was here in Nashville, and I experienced that because I thought that was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, but as far as watching the draft, I really haven't watched the draft since I got drafted because of the anxiety and the the emotions that are riled up pick after pick after pick you're trying you know you got people calling your phone and you're like oh my god is this This them and it's like it's like your cousin calling you saying hey (laughs) you know keep your head up and you're saying like don't call me right now um so i mean it's definitely nerve-wracking it's definitely nerve-wracking but to get that call i can tell you that it is a oh my god that's oh it's a it's a it's a priceless moment it's like a surreal moment that you can't even describe um you just gotta absorb it right oh mm-hmm. my god it is i mean it, oh, we, but but leading up until that <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a nail biter that, that's definitely I, a nail biter and i think a lot of people don't take that into consideration like you know how like the stress that causes the players and stuff i understand like that but i guess no one until it actually happens to you, you're like, you know, you can always think like, oh, yeah, this could happen. But then when it actually happens, you're like, man, it is a, is a stress, 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 stress. Now, we had – you got picked up, and you were with Coach Fisher, right? Jeff yep. Fisher. How, how, was, how was Jeff Fisher? Did he do anything to, uh, to uh, you know, like kind of almost like uh, mess around with the rookies or stuff or they were like – you know, nah, nah, he, he uh, man, cool Fish, Fish, a player's coach, and uh, his attention to details um, really made, really gave me an advantage as a rookie. Um, and, you know, that was something that I had. Um, and it's, it's funny because he kind of similar, he was kind of a similar coach to Jeff Bauer that I had at Southern Miss. That, okay. you know, one of the 
guys that they pay attention to the small things. The small things add up, they add up to the you know the bigger outcome that you want, whether it be you know not committing dumb penalties or showing up on time to meetings. Um, mm -hmm. You know, being accountable. You know, making the plays that you're supposed to make, not doing more than what you're asked to do. Um, and, and so it, it was a, it was just an amazing experience. You know, I learned more about football in that time that I had him and the rest of that coaching staff that he had. Um, so it, it, it was, it was, it was a blessing in disguise because I'm like coming in and I thought <laughs> the Titans were going to be the last people to pick me because I actually met with them at the combine and they oh, told you did. me straight up. Yeah. They told me straight up like, Hey man, we don't need you to play defense. We got linebackers. We just need oh, you to really? come in and play special Yeah. Oh. Right up. Look at that. That's and, interesting. Uh, and I, at the time, I'm like, I didn't know. Like at the time, <laughs> I, I didn't, I didn't do my research. Like I didn't know. Like, okay, you got Stephen Tully and <laughs> Keith Bullock and <laughs> David Thornton. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you don't. Need <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't know that's who they had. And um. Mm -hmm. And coming in that locker room and you just understand, you understand, you know, your role and what and what he was looking for me. And that that actually took a lot of stress off of my shoulders to allow me to do what was asked of me because I kind of already knew what they were looking for. Okay. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> that that's awesome, man. That's that's cool. See, that's something like again, people would never would never know is you know, they talk to you in the the combine and said, Hey, we don't, that's, that's nuts. That's crazy. See, that's, that's cool, man. See opportunity, man. When, when it comes knocking on your door, man. So like you were saying with the, the tie-ins and stuff, who was your first person that in the locker room that you interacted with as a player? Did you have anyone that was, you know, that came up to you and kind of gave you a pep talk maybe as, as you know, part of the Titans team? That you remember? I mean, if you don't, it's fine, man. The only thing I remember, look, the only thing that I can remember somebody giving me some advice. Well, DT was always my mentor. David Thorne, okay. he was always my mentor. He mentored me daily, just daily. And, okay. uh, and, I mean, and oh, my God, like, him, oh, man, just daily. Um, but as far as rookie advice coming from a vet, I remember this like it was yesterday. I think we were doing OTAs doing OTAs and Keith Bullock was out there and I'm, I'm out there with the vets warming up. And so like, mm -hmm. as that rookie, you don't want to kind of <laughs> like, it's almost like you, you know, like you try, you don't want to outside your, your older brother. You don't want to like, you know, like <laughs> you, you try to go at their face, you know, like I'm trying to gauge and see, are y'all full speed in this form up? Are y'all kind of like, you just kind of, <laughs> you know, looking cool. And, uh, man, and Keith Bullock, I remember this. Like, I went through, like, maybe two or three things, and he said, look, don't do it. Don't do what I do. Doing what, doing what I do will get you cut. You got you to gotta come out here with the mindset to make the team. I, remember, I will remember that to the day that I die because he just openly came out and told me and that. that. And it was like, oh, I appreciate that. So now I need yeah. to go full speed. Even when you guys aren't, you know. All right, yeah. <laughs> so. That's Keith Bullock for you, man. That's that's awesome. That yeah. that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Now, do you have any uh any um back when you were playing? Do you miss, you know, you know, at that time you was it was LP Field. Do you miss, you know, Sunday night football or you know during the day? Do you miss any of that football? Or you you kind of. You're always. good at where you're at. Always, uh, always, always. You know, I'll, you you always you always miss it. I I'm appreciative to have the opportunity to experience those things. Oh man, a Monday night down in Houston playing the Texans. Oh man, man, you talk about uh oh man, that atmosphere was rocking. Rough. <laughs> it's rocking like it's just it's football at its best, and you and you can feel that tension between both teams and in the stands and then coming back to LP, man, and playing on a beautiful Sunday. Oh, it can't, it can't get no better than that. I mean, it just That's doesn't true. get better than that, you know? So you, you, you miss those moments. Um, 
and but at, but at the same time, like I, I do feel like I really try to take advantage of every opportunity. I try to live in the moment, okay, as as much as I possibly could to fully grasp, you know, what was going on. Because I mean, it it is, you know, NFL is not for long, you know. So you never know when that last game is going to be. So I'm just okay. thankful that I had a few before I, you know, I exited out. That's perfect, man. That is that is true, man. You 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 never know what when's the last down. You don't know when's the last practice. You don't you, you we don't. That's one thing about you know us is that we don't know what we're not pro- promised tomorrow either. So again, I like that mentality where you just you know take life to the fullest and live in the moment. A lot of people don't live in the moment. A lot of people um, just think too much about the future and not right now like right now I, I told everyone in my house I'm like don't even come in I'm focused <laughs> on this man no one come in no one call me no one use like we have like the little internet thing I'm like no one get on the internet I need the whole <laughs> I need this man I'm like leave me alone let me do my thing you know so um <laughs> yeah man but that's that's awesome man and I I believe you um you said you were at Nashville for the draft. That was that was cool, huh? Wasn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, Nashville, God. they brought they brought the party, man. Woo! It was that was that that and, and that goes back to me not being a football player, but I, I'm I'm a student of the game. Like I love the game of football. Like I love the game of football. And um, man. That atmosphere, if if people, you know, people that are listening, if you guys never been to the NFL draft, I advise you to go because it is it is wonderful. It is wonderful. Oh my gosh. It was amazing. It was just it amazing. Is, it is a, a a lifetime. That's like an experience. It's almost like going to the Super Bowl, man. You have to go at least oh, one yeah. at least one draft. At least just one. one. And the thing was it's kind of crazy. I could have gone to the draft when they had it in Texas. It was down, and I, I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't go. I think I was working, but I kind of regret it now. I was like, man, I should have gone when I – I mean, it was right here, too. I was only 30 minutes away from, you know, Cowboy Stadium and stuff. But maybe it's because all the Cowboys fans. I'm I'm kind of tired of them. I'm over them. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of over them. So, talk about last year's run, okay? Tennessee Titans, man. We made – a hell of a run. Were you surprised by by the run they had last year, or you saw you kind of saw it coming? You saw it coming, right? A good defense early on, and and you know, offense didn't click way that you would want to click. You know, mm-hmm. and then, you know, there's some things you got some new offensive linemen guys. You know, Taylor Warren was out for a few games, so that kind of took them some time to get along. But defense was playing lights out first half of the, of the season. Um, so, I, if if you can't score, you can't win. They exactly. can't win. They can't score. So I mean, playing good defense like that, you're bound to create opportunities for your offense eventually. And um, just knowing what type of team Tennessee is, that's I mean, it's the, it's the blue collar, blue collar team. You know what yeah. I mean? So like that, that's a recipe. That's a recipe for success any day of the week. I and mean, we're still talking about football. I know they don't let you hit. And no, some of the contact is not what it used to be. But at the end of the day, you know, it's still it's a still a tough man's game. Yeah, it um, is. A and that's what the sport. Titans. Yeah, man, that's what the Titans are built on, man. And so, like, I was actually, um, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised at all. I was, I was actually anticipating it. Um, and it was just, it was just that moment that you feel like, man, like you you understand I think once they beat uh the Colts once they they won that Indy that Indy game up in Indy you could yeah. kind of understand that that locker room was, was a different, different locker room. That, yeah. that, that this these were special moments you know what I mean and I I know that those guys in the locker room felt that you know that they were on the, they were on a mission and that they could do it and then you could sense that they were they they believed that regardless of Anybody else? Because nobody wants to give Titans credit at all. You know, still you can't get no credit. E- even when you were playing, and and still, you know, you know, a couple of years later, it's still. Yeah, I, yeah, I played. Look, I played Madden, and I'm still <laughs> mad because 
I can't get I can't get some Titan players. I want some better <laughs> Titan players to play with. Like, come on, like we want that. Just, come on, A- yeah. A- AFC championship. I'm just I'm just saying. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping. I'm hoping we get some primetime games. That's the thing. I don't know if they're gonna show us love and give us some primetime games, man. Because that would be nice. Now, as a former linebacker like yourself, who do you? In our linebacker core, who who do you like? Do you like Rashawn Evans? You like Jalen Brown? Oh, Rashawn Brown, Evans, baby, I love Rashawn Evans too. Like, don't get me wrong, and man, even what what your um mm-hmm. like though. Oh my God, they the huh? I okay. I love Jalen Brown. I love his attitude. I love his passion. Man, like, oh my God, like I just man, if you go watch that kid play. And you and I haven't been watching him before he got into the starting lineup, but he would bring it every single yes, Sunday. Yes, he sir. just and he just loves the game, and you can tell it the way he plays. So passionate out that guy. And Rashawn, oh, Evans is just a grown he, man. He he's just yeah, he is, like, he is. He is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a grown man. That's just a. Hey, oh, scary man. man. He's scary. Man. Yeah. That that I goal love. line stance, you remember that goal line stance oh. against the Pages? Oh yes. my God! It was back to back plays. I was like, oh, "This is not even, it's not even fair." I'm like, "This guy clinic. is just, just it's clinic." That that I mean, it's clinic. It is it is that that is a clinic tape. That's a tape that that's a clip that you show and you teach <laughs> teach your young linebackers coming up like that for a fact for mm-hmm. a fact. But that group, man, they 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 work so well together. I know a lot of people talk about that back end, that DB's group, and how click they are. But man, that yeah. linebacker group is is well is underrated, well, underrated. As well, yes, yes, yes. Yep. Great. I mean, I just I love watching them play, man. They're so opportunistic when they're out there on the field. You know, every, yep. anybody and everybody could make a play. Yep, yep. You're you're correct, so, and yeah, it's just again. I think we have top five best linebackers core right now, and we just don't get any love because it's the Tennessee Titans. And it's, it, I, don't, I don't know what it. I don't know if it's it's because it's Nashville. It's a small market area team. I don't know. It just. It just. Hey, I don't know. It's 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 like that. It's like that. It's the Predators was dealing with that some too today. Mm-hmm. Made it to the Stanley Cup. To the Stanley I mean, Cup. Hey, you know. Hey, it's okay. You know, it's you know things are changing, and I think a lot of people realize that. I was telling a buddy of mine, uh, I was like, "Man, the Titans are the new Army, Navy, Air Force," because when you're in college, you nobody wanted to play those those teams because you Absolutely. know what type of game it would be. You knew what type of game it was going to be. I was like, "Man, Titans are going to start getting on folks' uh, schedule, and they're going to be like, oh, uh, man.' Yeah." I'm being the cold tub. <laughs> got you know, you got Derrick Henry. You got a, a workhorse in the backfield. You got to tackle him. That offensive line. I mean, you got to deal with the offensive <laughs> line first. Yeah. <laughs> that offensive line is it. Oh, we they and they get oh they get stronger as the game <laughs> goes on. It's just like yeah. man. It's, just, it's 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 a team that you again, like you said, you don't want to see towards the end of the season where your 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 playoff career, like your playoff hopes are on the line. And you're like, oh, mm-hmm. damn it, should have played the Jaguars. <laughs> 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 yep, yep. But so, so want to ask you. So what what are you, what are your plans now? What what are you doing now? After your whole NFL career, um, what what are your plans? What are you doing now? I believe um, you're a coach, right? Yeah, I, I volunteer that. coach. I, yeah, okay. I volunteer coach at a, a local high school in Nashville. Um, one of my biggest things is just serving, um, serving the community, you know, spiritually and stuff. I do feel like I've been blessed beyond uh, – beyond probably what I, I deserve. And, uh, man, I just to be able to see a dream come true to play in the NFL, um, I realized that there were a lot of people that made that dream possible as far as resources, as far as pouring in love, support. So that's kind of one of the things that I want to kind of dedicate, 
you know, the rest of my life is to giving back, serving the community, helping other people, you know, get, reach their dreams to whatever it may be, you know, give out some of my wisdom, knowledge of things that I did that were good, things were bad and different, um, but just helping others, you know, yep. I just want to help others. Yep. And like you said, you overcome a bunch of opt- obstacles, you know, from on the football team of uh, on, on playing NFL to, you know, your personal life as well. And I just want to say, you know, um, I'm, I'm proud of you. I'm glad, you know, you got over that hump. A lot of people can't get over that hump. Some people aren't blessed. People, some people don't have the, the, the as strong mentality to get over that. And it's, we lo- I think we lost. Okay, there you go. Perfect. And uh, I do, uh, I just want to, you know, just say thank you. And it, it's, it's tough. It's tough, especially I've, I've read everything, you know, what happened to you, you know, after football and stuff. And that's, that's a long road. It's a dark road, but I'm glad that, you know, you, you saw the light and you, and you overcame that, you know, so. Thanks. And that's a big thing. And so for some, for some that may not know, like I, I suffer from depression, anxiety. Um, I've yeah. had the suicide ideations. I, you know, I self-medicated with alcohol, which led me to get arrested. And I, you know, I was working at North Carolina at the time. And, um, and that, that's what led me to kind of seek that help. But, you know, mental health is, is very important in our society, both, yep. both from kids to adults to older people. Everybody's affected by this. It doesn't matter if you're an athlete. It doesn't, it don't matter if you're, you know, a white-collar, you know, financial advisor. We all deal with this, and it's all about just getting the right knowledge and stuff exactly. like that. So, so. And, um, again, like I said, it's, I'm, I'm glad you're okay. And, it, again, like you said, it's, it's all about helping you know, people out, helping each other out. I mean, depression is a very common thing in the United States and all around the world. And as long as you seek help and, you know, you're willing to help. And that's why I'm, I'm always, I'm, I'm never kind of like a, a, like an ass to people. You, you don't know what people are going through, man. You never know. Mm-hmm. And you, you never know if, you know, you just saying hi to someone, you just randomly off the street is what they needed. Yep. You never know. So, yep. Like I always say, I always say, just, you know, say hi to everyone. <laughs> My kid makes fun of me because like when I'm jogging and stuff, I'll say hi to every single person, every car that passes by, you know what? You never know. I, I'm always saying, I, I look like a weirdo, but you never know, man. I always, you know, I try to be optimistic. I try to be as friendly as possible because there, there's a lot, a lot of people are petty and stuff and try to do things and try to argue. And you know what? Life's too short. Mm-hmm. And you know what? You just got to, Take every day and just go with it, you know, live in the moment and not worry about anything else. So that's what it is, man. That's what it is. And hopefully uh, I'm, I'm glad again, like I said, I'm glad that you got over it and I'm glad you're helping people out and you're reaching out to people, especially you can talk to them about your experience in your past and help them mm-hmm. overachieve that situation they're going through. So uh, I do. I do appreciate it once again for uh, taking your time. I do want. I do have one, uh, two favors, but we just make it one favor. Okay. Um. All right. So, I wanted to know if I buy uh, because I, I have a a Hasselback jersey. I have I have a Chris Johnson jersey, but I'm gonna custom make a jersey, old school jersey, the old school Titans jersey. Sure. Put your name on it. Your number. And I would like to know if, if I can send it to you, autograph it, and I'm going to put it in there as the very first person on it's my sir. show. There we go, man. That's cool. I already – I printed – I'm going to print out a, a photo too, a photo of you. I'm going to send it with you. Just okay. sign it, bring it back, and I'm, I'm going to pl- place it there. And, again, I hope to have you again on the yeah. show. Yeah. Maybe we'll do – maybe we'll, we'll do – We'll do like something like with the draft next year and stuff when we can talk about some linebackers and stuff because trust me, you, you know a lot more than I do. So I, I would like nah, that <laughs> that knowledge, man. No, nah, you guys, man, you tight fan, man. You guys be spot on, man. Hey, I, I like I told you before, man, I appreciate what you do. Titan fans, I thank you guys so much for the support that you give the community. 
um, the support that you give to this this organization. Um, it's you guys that make this thing as special as is, is what it is. And I mean, just oh my God, this past season seeing you guys come Crazy. out, and seeing the guys, man, seeing the guys go down to New England, go down to Baltimore, and just seeing that it's fight, nice. man. Seeing that Titan fan tighten up, baby. Oh man, oh, I yeah. love it. I love it. I That's love good, it, man. Well, like I said, uh, sir, it was a pleasure having you on. I do again thank you from the bottom of my heart. I will rewatch this video a million times because this is <laughs> I'm telling you, man. This is one one thing in my life that that's awesome was to film a former and talk to a former Tennessee Titan football player. It's it's beyond. And, and, and like we talked about before, he's just taking, taking that chance. If I would have never made a YouTube video, who knows? We would have never been talking today. So I'm glad, you know, I, I took my opportunity and, and here we are talking, man. And, hey. and hey, I appreciate if everything. Trips, if you make any trips to Nashville, you better hit us up. <laughs> I'm taking you to go get some Hattie B's, man. There we go. Hey, I, 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 go every, I go every year. I, I try to go in October because it's not that hot. And it's not that cold. It's like perfect weather. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, you know, and hopefully we'll have a primetime game because I'll definitely be there. And I'll, I'll, I'll give you a shout out, man. I'll give you a call, hey. man. And we'll go hang out. Please do, man. Please do. Hey, hey again. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, man, you guys stay safe, your family and, and stuff like that. And it's time. And, hey, man, I just, just thank you for – just setting this up, you know, right now, you know, this might give somebody something to look forward to or anything like that. So thank you exactly. for what you're doing. This is just thank one you. stuff. I know you're going to get to where you're trying to go, my man. There we go. And uh, again, I appreciate it. God bless you and your family. All right, buddy. All right, my man. Hey, tighten up, brother. Tighten up. Oh, sit again, hype now. Tell them boys to tighten up. Tighten up. Let me hear you say it. Nissan, come alive for them. Tell them boys to tighten up.